Hello, it's Dee and I'm back with another video and I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday season, spending it with your friends and families and ringing in the new year. Now, today we have some brand new information. 2026 is starting off with a bang. Nvidia has dropped a brand new DLSS update. DLSS 4.5 arrived today and in today's video, we're gonna do a comparison. As well, I'm gonna show you guys how to enable this in your system. Now, before I get into all of that right now, I'm gonna put on the screen Forza Horizon. Now we're gonna run it with DLSS 4 and DLSS 4.5. I'm not gonna put which version is uh, which on the screen. I'm gonna let it run out. And towards the end, I'll let you guys know which version is which. So this is a blind test. So let me know in the live chat, in the comment section down below, which side you think is DLSS 4 or DLSS 4.5. DLSS 4 came out, the Transformer model, and it was significantly better than the previous iteration of DLSS. It was also enabled on 20 series and 30 series cards. 4.5 also makes a pretty significant step in image quality. You have a lot more stability. And as you'll see later in the video, you get a much more crisp image quality with DLSS 4.5. Now we're hearing that on 20 and 30 series cards that you're going to incur a 20% decrease in FPS. So I would recommend using the performance mode if you have a 20 or 30 series card to kind of minimize your frame rate loss and you can still enjoy the upgrade in image quality that you get from DLSS 4.5. Now, before I get into all of that, let's just show you how to enable DLSS 4.5 in your system. Now, before we get into the actual comparisons, I just wanna show you how you activate this. So. First thing you're gonna do is, of course, you're gonna update your drivers to the latest driver, right? Once you have it, you'll see 59.1.74, and then you know that you are in the latest GeForce drivers. Now you head over to the uh, graphics tab here, and you'll go to global settings. Uh, you'll go to DLSS override, you'll click it, and you'll have an option here of, uh, you can do uh, the application to enable it, or you can just do the latest tab here and it will apply the latest frame generation, ray reconstruction, and super resolution. Now, as of recording this, only ray reconstruction and super resolution, only those updates are available. Frame generation comes later in 2026. You would hit apply, and that's it. You would go into the game and apply DLSS 4, and you would have the latest transformer model. Now, if you wanna do some type of comparison, then obviously you will toggle that on and off. And there's other ways to do it. I'm not gonna get into it in this video. So with that being said, let's just get into the comparisons and I'll come back and give you guys my opinions. <laughs>
Now from our short little benchmark here, I can see that we are getting a much better image quality with DLSS 4.5. Now with Forza, unfortunately we did lose some performance. It was 144 FPS on the previous iteration of DLSS and the new version 4.5 gave us 135 FPS. Although the image quality was better, we did lose some performance. Now you're gonna have to make that decision for yourself. The 10% or I should say the 10 FPS frame loss, is it worth getting the better image quality? That decision is up to you. Personally, I think it's worth it. 135, 145 FPS. I don't think it's a huge difference to be honest with you guys. I think if you're getting a very good image quality and you don't feel any type of latency, I think 135 FPS at 4K is a pretty good outcome. Now, when it came to Cyberpunk 2077, I don't know what happened here, but for some reason I got better performance on the new version of DLSS 4.5 than the old version. I believe I got 114 or 110 FPS on the older version and on the new version, we got 117 FPS. However, we did get much better quality. Now I'm going to have to benchmark more games. I just want to give you guys my initial opinion on it. And I think it's a good thing for gamers overall, especially for those that don't have a 5080, for those that have a 5070 Ti, for those that have a 4070 or a 4070 Ti. I think you're going to get a lot more mileage out of your card now, especially if you use DLSS performance, where you're still going to get great performance and the improvements of DLSS 4.5. Anyways, I wonder what you guys think about this. Do you think that DLSS 4.5 is going to be a game changer? Do you have a 20 or 30 series card? Are you going to use DLSS 4.5? Do you think you'll be able to achieve a better image quality and more stability with this new update? Now, personally, I think this is a great update for all DLSS owners, or I should say all NVIDIA owners, because this is a free update. Although you may see up to 20% decrease in FPS if you have a 20 or 30 series card, if you use the performance mode, I don't think it's going to be as much and you're still going to get the best quality possible with DLSS 4.5. Now this year, it's going to be really crazy for hardware. We know that a 30, 60, 12 gigabyte is going to be released to help alleviate some of the GPU problems, but 30, 60 that has 12 gigabytes of RAM, although the RAM allocation is good. That GPU isn't really that good. I think if you want to play games at 1080p, I think the 3060 is fine. But if you want to play games at 1440p, 4K with higher settings, even a 3060 card with 12 gigabytes, I think is not enough. I truly feel that this year we're going to see an uptick in subscribers to the GeForce Now service. Now they did update it during CES, although I didn't cover it in the video, you are able to stream up to 5K, 120 hertz or you can stream up to 360 fps i'm going to assume that's at 1440p and if you have not used the uh, geforce now service i will tell you it is by far the best cloud service available and i think it might be a viable option for a lot of gamers in 2026 seeing how high pc parts are and you know if you don't want to go console and you want to build a pc in 2026 you're going to pay a lot of money and perhaps a subscription service to geforce now might scratch that itch anyways you guys just let me know what you think in the comment section down below and like i usually say please like share subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one